Hi guys, uh, a lot of you who are mapping want to start doing more complicated things with your brushes um, and you're trying to create terrain with brushes or make it slope and so on. This is not how we slope terrain. What we need to do is we need to make a patch. So let me show you how you can quickly make a patch. Now this is a brush that we've got selected here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Um, I wouldn't normally work in this sort of size of a patch, um, but for, in fact, yeah, what we'll do, we'll quickly make, let's try and find a set of whole size we want, that's a bit big, let's change my grid size, we'll make the patch, let's have a look at the numbers, so let's make it 500-ish, I'll do be able to get about a match. God, can't, can't get a match. Let's find you. Let's make it 500 spot on. Did did And let's just drag it so it's lined up on this grid. Awesome. Right. So we have a texture. This texture is no good to me. I want to make it a patch. So I'm going to select patch. I'm going to make a terrain patch. I'm going to make a simple terrain patch. Now, for the sake of argument, I'm just going to count these squares. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to make the patch 9 by 9. It'll make sense. So you actually see 9 squares, 9 squares. So I'm going to press space and duplicate it. Line it up. And then I'm going to select the same patch. Duplicate it again. So now we've got something that's uh, it's going to fit roughly the size of the map. Just need to select those, drag them across. So we've now got roughly the size of the map that way. Uh, I need to texture it, so we'll give it some sort of ground dirt. So let's look at ground. What ground have we got to choose from? Um, yeah, we have some mud. There we go, a bit of mud. And then I'm going to start replicating all these highlighted patches. all the way until where we've got the plain area basically sorted awesome one thing here they all look like they're in the plain area so look here we go we've now got a surface made up of multiple patches but do you know what that's not enough I want a little bit of an embankment around the outside here so if we have a look you can sort of start to see these grid lines so I'm going to manipulate these a little bit so I'm going to press Y Y for Yankee uh, and then we can paint height um, you can do soft selection on selected patches but let's not worry about that we're going to increase the outer radius somewhat increase the inner radius so now we can see which bit I'm manipulating. Um, so you can now see I've got that selected. I just need to tick height on that. So I've got height, height. Uh, and if I hold the Alt key and press my left mouse button, it starts to adjust the height of the patch. Okay, that's quite an aggressive amount and it's all to do with the amplitude. So if I lower this to something a bit more civil, go away a bit. If I start holding down it's a lot smoother as I'm working with it and as you can see I start to raise the edges and I'm just really trying to define behind where I actually spawn. Uh, it's keep working, I'm just dragging the mouse backwards and forwards while holding the left alt key down. And this is really basic patching, this is nothing complicated, doesn't take a lot to do we start to get a nice smooth height. So if we come down to eye level now, we've now got a bit of rough terrain behind us in the map and that will show in game. Now it may be that you want to do other things like blend the textures and so on. I'm going to save that for another tutorial because uh, blending and how we manipulate the blending is uh, a little bit more advanced and I don't want to get you all too confused. What I would say, whenever I do um, areas, I, I probably draw what it looks like first before I start going cutting the patches into pieces. 
Now occasionally, and it's not happened in this case, I'm going to press Y to get rid of that. If I select these two patches, and I don't know if we can have a look, it's not happened in this case. Patches can become apart, so I'm going to artificially make the patch uh, come apart. So I've pressed V to bring up the vertices. I'm going to highlight these two, and holding Alt, we're just going to drag them up. So now we can see we've got a gap in between the patch. And this happens when you're working on lots of patches, especially if you've got layered patches. It is going to happen. You are going to have to fix it. So if we select the bottom patch and then select the top patch and press V, we can then draw the left mouse button and highlight it. And then we can press W and it welds. And you see how it's welded downwards there? That's because I selected this patch first, then that patch. If I select this patch first, then that patch, press V, highlight the two vertices, press W again, the patch is joined upwards that way. If you're working on masses of patches, you are going to have to weld stuff, and it's called welding, and that's all you're doing. But that's a really quick, e easy overview of patches, and you really ought to start thinking about using patches. You can use them for walls, anything you want, but this is how you manipulate surfaces. And you may have used volume decals to add a bit of detail to walls, but basically if you look at, say, the giant map, you might have four or five blended patches on top of a main patch surface. This gives you, like, foot, say you want footprints on top, you want a bit of snow, a bit of, you know, grass, whatever. I am going to go through that in another video, as I say, but first, just practice really basic patches here. So just quickly to recap, we created a patch, so we had a brush, we went to the patch, we created a terrain patch, simple terrain patch, and it gave us a list of how big we were, how many squares we wanted. So I just I counted the squares that I had highlighted by the brush and I added it by one and that gave me my dimensions. Um, then I joined all the patches together, just duplicated them, put them all together side by side, and then I wanted to create these slopes. So I press Y, Y for Yankee. I checked that paint high was selected and paint height was selected. I then change the inner and outer radius. So if I select a patch we start to get this brush. So if you've got really fine patches you'll probably want to change the inner and outer. Now the amplitude is really important to notice. If it's too wild, if I do this and if I left click on here it's just going to go up really quickly or down really quickly if I use the right mouse button. So I'm just holding alt and pressing the buttons. It really doesn't help me. In fact I'll just try and smooth this. So you can actually smooth it back off. It's gone at a bad height, but I'll be able to weld it really quickly. We'll just go back to the amplitude. So if I did the same sort of thing, selected a different patch, and hold paint height, left mouse button is up, right mouse button is down. It's really easy. That's just the floor texture underneath. But it's really easy to do. I would always make sure that your amplitude is quite low. Otherwise, it's going to go a bit crazy. And you see how I've lost my actual shape in my brush here. I'm going to have to weld it together, delete it out, or smooth it off so it's the same height as these. It's a bit painful once you've done that. Uh, and that's simple patches. As I say, patches can get really advanced and really funky. We're going to go through those. Okay guys, cheers for now. Bye.